These are our new geography notebooking pages and I wanted to give you uh, just a peek inside of how we did these. This is a page that I filled out just so that you could see and it's based on Brazil in the book National Geographic Ultimate Globe Trotting World Atlas. So there's a link on my site for the book that we're using. Okay, I decided not to do a picture of the flag but instead have them look it up and color it and you can see there is a flag in the book um, that they can copy. Here's the facts for each country. It has an ID card country facts, and you, we filled those in over here. Five cool things to do. You can see the title right there, and it goes through and gives you, you can kind of summarize these however you want. Um, three attractions that is right here by this little suitcase here. And up here, I made a place to put the continent that the country is on. And I'm going to have my kids pick colors from the flags to illustrate the country name. I'm going to go through and show you the other options in the PowerPoint. This is the option right here. The PowerPoint, I'm sorry. The other options in the PDF. This is the one that you write the continent. If you don't want that, I made one that's blank. Some of the countries in the book have two countries listed on one page. So I made a sheet that has um, the country facts. It took the flags off. Um, which you could draw those up there if you wanted to, but it just made it simpler to d deal with the two countries. So here's an example, Spain and Andorra, and you can see you've got the country facts right here. Now there is a page in the back of the book that will give you the facts for the other countries, so make sure you go in the back to get that. Um, and you still are only going to get the three attractions here, and so that's why I made a page for the ones who have two. There are a few in the book that have three. So here I took off the, the three um, attractions and just limited it down to the five cool things to do and offered three country fact places. Here's an example of three countries, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Netherlands in on one page. So there also are some that have four. So, and that for this four one, it can be used. There's some that have five, six, seven, so you could just print two and just do your state facts on that one if you just choose to do any of those. I also provided maps um, so that the children can color in. There's some different maps. There's an Eastern Europe and a Europe. There's South America, Latin America, depending on how you want to, um, fo what you want to focus on. There's an Antarctica, there's a plain Australia map, and then the, I had a hard time finding a map for this, um, but we did. There's a Central America. So you can pick the maps to have your kids color in um, what country they've learned about. 